Another package just came in. Let's open it. Hey everybody, thank you again for joining me for another episode of The Layman Video Gamer. I am Scott Galaxy, and as I said, I have another package here today. This is kind of a fun one. Um, I, I don't want to get too into it before I open it, so let's just open it, and then we'll discuss. Now, do not mind this. I got this actually as well. This is kind of going to go to my VIC-20, um, which I do have set up in the background there. I'm going to check these out just to see if they work, but just fun little thing. We'll talk about that in another video possibly, but today is all about this. All right. Ooh. I know, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. Ta da! Here you go. This is the Sega Game Gear, obviously modified and super cool. So I already have a Game Gear. It's, uh, I have an original. It's something I haven't modified or anything like that. It's in an original shape, just as it was right off the shelf back in the, uh, in the 90s and the reason I got this one is because the screens are lacking so this one actually has an updated IPS screen from Ben Vent it's supposed to be spectacular we'll check it out but this also has a few other modifications it has a new high quality audio board from SYF it's been cleaned and recapped it also has a new USB-C power board from SYF as well. And the cool thing is that this came with a couple other things. So this came with an original lanyard. And it also came with super columns. Now I have columns. I do not have super columns. So win. So let's pop something in and see what this looks like. So there you have it. This thing is amazing. I'm super happy about it. I did get this off of eBay if you're really curious. I spent about $350 for this. But I have a lot of Sega Game Gear games and to me this is the absolute way I've got to do it. Because I'm going to show you what the other one looks like that I'm dealing with. 
So as you can see, it's absolutely worth it, at least for me. Um, it's up to you guys if you're, if you're really into this kind of stuff, but I do like the modified uh, type things, especially if you're really, really, really into a system. I mean, I've had some modifications done to like my old ColecoVision, my Intellivision, my Nintendo 64, um, and others as well. I can't think of them on top of my head, but, um, but these are really, really good if you still have a strong interest in these type of uh, retro gaming uh, consoles or mobile devices. But um, I'm super happy. I can't wait to dig in and see some of my favorite games on this thing and see what it can do to those, but I'm excited. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Is this something you'd buy for that much? Do you think it's worth the 350 price tag? And is this something you guys would be interested in? But before you go, please make sure you check out the rest of my videos on the channel. And if you like what you see, please subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified of every single new episode that I put out. Until next time, I'm Scott Galaxy. I'm gonna go play some more of this Game Gear, modified Game Gear, and I've just, you probably won't see me for a while. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be playing. I might, uh, okay, I'll come back. Sega.